You like that new opening? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. It is July 31st, the last day in the month of July in the year 2019. And your verse for today, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20 and 21. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us, unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world, without end. Amen. Good morning, YouTube. My beautiful, wonderful, glorious, simply amazing, fascinating, Holy Spirit filled on fire with the Holy Ghost, Bible believing, God fearing, Philadelphia bride, hard puzzle, rapture ready, precious. Brothers and sisters, get around, pull up a chair. Let me know what are you going to share with PD as we begin this day together. I've got my coffee with cream and no sugar. Let me know in the comment section below what are you going to share with PD. Do that now. Humor me. Do that now. Well, my, 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 we're living in the last days. Have you seen this? Jesus has returned. And he's in Kenya. Maybe he's looking for Barack Obama. <laughs> I don't know. Let me, sh let me share this with all of you. Well, brothers and sisters, you just can't make this stuff up. First, Matthew 24, verse 4 and 5. Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And it's happening now in both Kenya and South Africa, Kenyan pastor says he found Jesus Christ on streets, invites him to preach. And look at, look at this. I think this is even worse than the prosperity gospel, but I'm sure this Kenyan pastor is seeking to uh, prosper somehow from all of this charade, blasphemy. A Kenyan pastor claims he found Jesus Christ on the street and invited him to speak at his church, according to a Twitter user. A Kenyan pastor claims he found Jesus Christ walking on the streets of Kenya, took the white man to his church, gave him a warm welcome, and now his church followers are happy. But Jesus has finally come back. And lucky for them, he landed in Kenya first, of all places. But wait, there's more, because he, he's, the, he's in South Africa too. Photos of this Jesus reveal a white man dressed in biblical style clothes. Now listen to this. According to reports, the pastor's goal in having this man preach was to expose common unbiblical views of Jesus that come from Western depictions. Yet he is parading this guy around as Jesus. And uh, he's trying to expose uncommon biblical views. Another Twitter user claims he saw a similarly dressed white Jesus parading the streets in South Africa. Jesus Christ in South Africa, this part of the uh, world, we play too much. And there is a, I can't get the video for whatever reason to play, but there is a Jesus. He's poking out of the sunroof of a car in South Africa. I don't know why the video won't play. I guess it's best we don't watch it anyway. But I wanted to share this with you. We're living in the last days. Let's just get you guys' uh, uh, thoughts and opinions on Kenyan pastor says they found Jesus Christ on the streets. Now Jesus is preaching. Oh my goodness. Let me know what you guys think. Again, let me know in the comment section what, what do you think about this? He's in Kenya. I'm probably looking for Barack Obama, maybe. Maybe looking for his birth certificate, and uh, he's also in South. He's he's everywhere. He's in South Africa. He's popped out of a sunroof somewhere. My goodness, this is blasphemy. We we are living in the very end times. Now, on a serious note, I ask all of you, all of you, all the prayer warriors out there, to lift Christie's father Ted up in prayer. As you know, he's eighty-seven years old, and he has uh, cancer. And uh, they have stopped the chemotherapy now. There's no more they can do for him. And he is in hospice. 
we went to see him uh, last night. So please lift our family up in prayer. Lift Ted up in prayer. He is a born again Christian and he he loves the Lord so much with all of his heart. It's a very difficult time for Pastor Dave, for Christy, and our family. So please keep Ted lifted up in prayer. Heading out to, uh, I'll be in Pontiac, Michigan today and Detroit tomorrow with our ministry and outreach to the homeless. Again, I want to thank Brother Richard. One card uh, in the beginning of the month and then uh, the other day, another card to our ministry. Uh, I love getting stuff in the mail. So thank you, Brother Richard from Rochester, New York. You're the only one that sent Pastor Dave a card in July. I want to thank singer girly from our live online chat room viewer and subscriber her real name is jill for an amazing gift through gofundme of 50 dollars to our ministry and outreach to the homeless now hope it's okay we are going to have on august the 11th right after service we're going to go down to holly state recreational area and jill and her husband are going to be baptized so stay tuned for that i love you guys if you find it in your heart to support this ministry and outreach to the homeless we need your help desperately now more than ever tomorrow begins august and the assault on the homeless has already begun the police are rounding up the homeless in in numbers getting them off of the street before they have the classic uh, car crews back to the bricks where they showcase all of the uh, classic cars, but uh, GM, that the people of Flint built. All of the people that built the cars now are homeless. They lost, when, Ge when General Motors left Flint, Michigan, the very hands that made these cars are holding cardboard signs, and they're hungry, and they're desperate. They lost everything. So you can't have homelessness when they're doing a classic car cruise in Flint, they used to be known as Vehicle City. So we need your help desperately now, desperately with this ministry. Uh, if you find it in your heart, pray first. All the links will be below. PayPal is fast, quick, and instant. There's also Tithely that you can give through Tithely and uh, GoFundMe. All the links will be below where it says Show More. Just click on the Show More tab. God bless you. Backpack. He'll probably get those out after everybody. Oh, thank you. We got more clothes on. Oh, okay. I just. Yes. Yeah.